Distro Kit versus TuneCore. This is an honest opinion of mine because I do have my music on Distro Kit and I also have some music on TuneCore as well. So I'm going to give you an, a non-sponsored, honest comparison of both of these platforms to see which one might be right for you. If you wanna sign up for DistroKid though, I do have a referral link. That's just one of their strengths. If you do sign up for DistroKid as well, you can get your own referral link. And if you do sign up for that one below, it's about a 7% discount. We're going to go over the biggest things that you need in a music distributor, which are the pricing, how much they actually charge you to get your music up there, the features and the specific things that are differentiated between each platform, and also payments, how much each platform pays you in return of the streaming that you deserve. Let's get into the first one, which is pricing, and that's a big differentiator between TuneCore and DistroKid. So with DistroKid, there is three tier planned options, and then they do also have some add-ons that you can add later on in the process of uploading a song. But the pillars are three tier plans and it's very simple to understand. So we have the musician plan, this one ice cream cone, which is $20 a year. And with that, you can get unlimited amount of uploads. So keep in mind, you can be releasing hundreds of songs, but every year you have to pay another $20, $20, $20 for the rest of the time that you want that song to be live. The next plan is a Musician Plus plan, and this is the plan I'm on. Uh, it's two artists or more. And same thing with the Musician plan, unlimited amount of songs that you can upload. But also this plan is really valuable because you can set customizable label name and release dates, pre-orders and iTunes pricing. These are really great features, especially the release date, because if you have fans and you want to tell them that your song is gonna be out on June 15th or for whatever, for example, you wanna be able to set that on upload. With the Musician Plan, you can't do that. The next plan, Label, is basically like the Musician Plus plan, but you're allowed to have five, up to 100 artists. That's the tiered pricing plan for DistroKid. Some of the add-ons can be um, YouTube content ID monetization, where you can add on for about five a year, but DistroKid will take 20% of that ad revenue. Um, there's a store maximizer, which just says like if DistroKid adds any more stores, then your music will automatically be, be added to all those. Shazam and iPhone, you want your song to show up on Shazam. If you do want that, it's about 99 cents or a buck a year. And then they have this leave a legacy um, option. So if you want to leave DistroKid, but you wanna make sure that your songs will be there, you can pay the 30 one-time fee non-recurring and that will leave your legacy on the streaming services. So, so DistroKid offers this high recurring annual fee at 20 bucks a month, but gives you this unlimited uploads in return. So really valuable if you're uploading tons of music and you only wanna pay 20 bucks a year. TuneCore um, doesn't have as high a recurring fee, but they don't give you unlimited uploads. So for example, on TuneCore, it's 10 bucks per year if you want to release one single, and that is recurring. So if you already know you only want to release one single per year, then it is cheaper to go with TuneCore versus DistroKid. But as soon as you start releasing more than two singles a year, then it's cheaper with DistroKid. Let's say you want to release an album and you're not just releasing songs. So with DistroKid, you can release unlimited songs. So you can release 10 albums if you want, and it's still only 20 bucks a year. With TuneCore, they do have this um, album price, which is 30 bucks, 29.99 for your first year, and then it's 50 bucks the following year. So right off the bat, it's already cheaper to go with DistroKid because it's basically DistroKid saying 20 bucks for an album. TuneCore is 30 bucks for your first year, and then it gets to 50 bucks every year after that. TuneCore also offers YouTube um, content monetization at 10 bucks one-time fee, 80% of uh, that you keep of your ad revenue. So they're taking out 20%, which is the same as DistroKid, they take 20% too. So $5 cheaper on DistroKid to get YouTube monetization. Similar to the DistroKid add-on features, TuneCore takes that even further and they go as far to adding admin publishing service to your music. So if you want to collect all those royalties worldwide, if your song is broadcast somewhere, and you're gonna collect those royalties with TuneCore's admin publishing service. It's valuable to you as well if you think your songs will be broadcast worldwide and you want to collect those royalties. You don't need to use your music distributor to collect those royalties. You can use other services like SongTrust, for example, 
that can do that admin publishing for you. On top of the TuneCore publishing, if you go into the TuneCore publishing, music publishing section of the TuneCore website, you'll see that they do pitch saying that they will give you sync licensing opportunities. That is great if your music is great for movies, for example, or ads. You could have an opportunity to get paid a significant sum of money to have your music in an ad or in a movie. And TuneCore suggests that they actually will give you opportunities for this sync. Potentially a really great opportunity if your music is great for sync. However, you don't have to use like TuneCore publishing to get in sync as well. You could um, in sync. You could go to another music publishing service and use your own music supervisor to pitch your songs to sync. TuneCore has, again, just decided to make this a big feature inside their platform. So if we're specifically talking about price, if you're an artist that wants to release lots of music, DistroKid would probably be the better option for you. Now let's talk about features and the specific features that DistroKid offers versus the specific features that TuneCore offers. So my favorite features that DistroKid offers, one is this hyperfollow link, which is great if you're promoting your music to your fans. For example, when your song comes out, you usually share a link to your fans. And one way is to just share the Spotify link and then you miss out on all the you, the people in your audience that don't use Spotify. So what a hyperfollow link is a custom link which just has all the buttons to the music streaming services out there. So when a fan lands on this custom link, they can choose their preferred music streaming service. TuneCore doesn't have this service. You can go with other services and pay for this service. An example one is show.co and you can use that for a month and then cancel it. But with DistroKid, it comes within the package. Another feature, and I already touched on at the beginning, is the link in the description where you can get a discount if you sign up for DistroKid. Well, if you sign up for DistroKid as well, you get your own referral link and you can share it with your friends, your fans, your network, whoever. And if they sign up, you get a bit of money in return as well. So it's a win-win for both something also that TuneCore doesn't have. So another one would be the wheel playlist, uh, the, sorry, the wheel of playlist, which is if you spin the wheel to get on, you have a chance to get on their Spotify playlist, which is another way to be potentially discovered as an artist. Let's go on to TuneCore now. And if we talk about the features in TuneCore, you'll notice quite a differentiation between DistroKid. So I'm in my TuneCore dashboard here and you, you'll already see like, there's way more things going on than DistroKid, uh, not to mention there's a bit of ads and things like that, but there's just more things packed into TuneCore. And if you like that, then you're gonna like TuneCore more. The biggest feature sets that TuneCore has over DistroKid are the music publishing administration, their artist services, and the money and reports section. Um, not to mention they have um, a lot of resources like guides and their, their blog is quite extensive on how to's and more than DistroKid. So yeah, music publishing, we've already kind of covered. That's a big thing that TuneCore does offer. Um, their artist services are, they claim to promote and um, help artist services. So if we click on this link, we're gonna be opened a new page, which tries to bring you through some type of linear path. So like prepare your music, get ready, promote your music. And so they try to bring you through and give you different resources to help you. Like if you're just preparing your music and you need your music mixed or mastered, they're gonna point you in the right direction in different areas. It's really just, they have a database of, of contacts and networks that they can point you in the right direction if you do need help in those areas, which is beneficial if you don't, have a network or if you don't know where to get started. The other thing is their money and reports section. And this is a big thing that they have over DistroKid. TuneCore is a much more robust um, reporting system. It just looks nicer in my opinion too. So if you're really into getting into the analytics of your streams, then maybe TuneCore is a bit better for you. I found DistroKid's stats and analytics were just basic, very, um, very elementary. So, and if you're just interested in the stream count of the last months or year or whatever, it's gonna give you the right numbers and that you won't have to worry about it. TuneCore just 
gives you the opportunity to dig down a bit more. Let's move on to the section of how you get paid for the streams and how each platform pays you out. It's the same. You get 100% of the music royalties on TuneCore and you also get 100% of your music royalties on DistroKid. And they pay you out more or less the same. Um, the streams come in, there is usually a two or three month delay on streaming. You can take a listen to any of my music. It's all available online as well. And please feel free to stick around, subscribe if you want that 7% discount on DistroKid. The link is in the description. So I hope to see you in the next video.